and now for the window schedule we're going to use the same steps that we followed before so we're going to go over here and look for the window schedule and open up the default one and it's going to take some time to load and here we have it and just like we did before if we click on this icon we have ourselves the entire array of windows that are captured but we want to scale this down because it's a little bit too much because if i zoom in we have some information that i do not think i need for this sake for this example that we are dealing with for example fire resistance transmittance and these other things we can get rid of them we can remove the zone information as well because most of it is undefined and as well we can get rid of other stuff if we go to scheme settings which you can find up there okay so in the scheme settings we just want to be concerned with the fields here in the schedule okay so let's go down here and get rid of the fire resistance thermal transmittance and sound and then let's get rid also of a number of things the dynamic classification let's control click also on the library part name let's also control click on the from zone to zone let's also click on the orientation and then as well the seal height and head height let's get rid of those okay and for our additions we're just going to get a custom under general we just want to get some two custom texts okay double click on this one and this one and we're going to move them about if we hover over here we have this icon which we can help us to move this to just below the element id because we need a description under there and then we can move this quantity all the way to the second bottom because we will have location here and then quantity above that and then we want this 3d back view to be above here just below the description and that's it so let's bring that in and we see what happens one is that the number of items kind of shrinks because if we can click here you can see that we have lost a lot of the things which were just duplicates and you can see that we have now four embedded in here we have one here two eight and eight and now we want to get rid of this because this is not we do not want to see this so how do we get rid of an empty opening that we accidentally picked up so with it selected we go to select in 3d which is this icon right here and such that we can see where it is and now we can go to its settings and affect it so you can see that this is the part where we have the staircase if i try to zoom back you can see that we have the staircase and just ab and just behind it we have something here that is for that window so let's go into the settings and change a few of the things that will enable us to get rid of it so in order to get rid of it in order to let it not show under classification we want to change from the window classification and just tell akika that this is in fact an empty opening that is helping us to see the window which starts from the ground up okay so once we go back here now into the schedule you can see that that disappears so now we have ourselves a clean layout which has this window one and then perhaps we need to change this window such that it comes at the end because this should be window four and then we have two and three so if we refresh and the way to refresh is you can click away for example on the ground floor and then once we click back it will refresh and then we have ourselves the better arrangement where we have this window and then the next and the next like so and now we can adjust the sizes because the description is going to be a little bit bigger so we will need space for that description and then we also need to adjust some of these spaces ever so slightly so that we have uh, a better representation for our schedule and I think I'm happy with that. So 
looking at this i think this is supposed to be one window i am not sure why we have two so let's see what's happening here in 3d because we have only one window here uh, at the extreme end so let's see what that looks like and it looks like we have a small error that uh, i did because we have this window and then we have captured an empty opening here so let's try and select that empty opening by having by escaping such that we now select once more so let's have the window tool open and i think it starts from somewhere here so i'm going to click and yes i have captured it if i try to delete it you can see that it is helping us to open up this area. So that's not a good idea. So we would rather reduce its height to be three meters because that's the height of the story. And once we have reduced its height, we also want to make sure that it's not being captured as an independent window. So we might want to go to the settings and like we did for the window before change its its classification from window to empty opening and now it should disappear and not disturb okay so if we go back right here you can see that we now have that one window and then we have these other windows like so cool and now we can go ahead and do the editing so i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see mm -hmm. so let's just make this as a description this as window marker this as window elevation and then this as 2d plan symbol and then finally here as loca location of that window okay so we need to make sure that it is left aligned and bold and as well when we select this description as well it needs to be left aligned and bold and then we can choose the font that we so wish to see and as well we can choose a font for the rest of these items on the right okay and then here we can choose to wrap such that we are able to fit in more content in this area okay so with this selected we want to add information about that window and looking at it we can see that this is a double window but it's not just a double window but a double metal casement side hung window with 300 millimeter high transom you can add the the size of the transom if you so wish in order to have it a bit consistent so let's copy that information and we will use it for this window except except that we will not need uh transform information because it doesn't exist and we will copy that and use it except that this time this is a single metal casement window but this time i think it's prudent that we use a top hang for these toilet windows it would be a bit more functional so in order to also have the window itself top hung we might want to select all of them here in 3d and once we have all of them selected we can go to settings and under here basic window settings let's go to the opening type let's look for opening type somewhere here good and then we can change from side hung to top hung I think that would be a much more functional uh, window for the toilet windows. Okay. And that's how you represent a top hung window. And remember, in order to know where that window is located, if we select this window, you can go to this 
3D and you can see that these are the rare studios so you can put here studios located at the rare and then we have these which are located at the front and then as well this is used for the kitchen net or the kitchen area okay the kitchen net sounds a little bit fancy next is located on the washrooms and then finally we need to edit also info about this one which is located at the stair and i think this description matches it a double you know metal casement side hang window maybe fixed glass they will customize it in future to have windows which are top hung within like you can have this as a top hung top hung like that but for the sake of this uh, tutorial you get the idea and just like that we have ourselves a clean and neat window schedule